Hi everyone, this is Dr. J and I have another episode for you today on MedFit DO. So today I'm going to be talking about incident resistance and thought acceptance um, because insulin resistance is uh, linked, closely linked to a lot of chronic diseases that we see, such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease. It's closely linked to metabolic syndrome. And we can overcome insulin resistance by exercising and eating a proper nutrition. And I know exercising and, you know, eating proper nutrition is very broad. So let's go just a, a, a little bit further to, to, so I can elaborate on what I mean by that. So when I talk about exercises, not just cardio um, exercises, so anything that increases your heart rate, such as walking briskly or running or cycling or doing Zumba, but it also um, should include incorporate some type of strength training as well so that you can improve your muscle strength. And it's important to incorporate both of that, um, especially any strength training activities, because um, that is going to decrease your insulin resistance. In addition to um, what decreases your insulin resistance is less visceral fat. So there are actually two types of fat. Well, we actually have a lot of different types of fat, but um, for the simplicity of this talk, we have some subcutaneous fat, which is the fat that sits underneath our skin, you know, to keep us warm. But we also have fat that surrounds our organs and that's called visceral fat. So with increasing visceral fat, in addition to decreased muscle mass, that can promote insulin resistance. And um, insulin resistance also, um, what, it, what also um, precipitates insulin resistance is inflammation. So you also have an inflammatory cascade that is, that is happening when someone is insulin resistant. So that's the exercise piece. Now the nutrition piece, um, you want to also make sure that you have a shift of your protein to carb ratio. So that means higher proteins in your diet um, than carbs. And you also want food diversity. So if you're one of those people who eats the same thing every day, then I would challenge you to look at different foods um, that you can incorporate into your your meal plans during the week because different foods are going to have different um, micronutrients and macronutrients and um, different minerals, right? So, um, you know, if you're always used to eating green apples, maybe try red apples. Um, if you're always used to eating blackberries, try blueberries. So things like that. Um, also, um, with eating different foods, um, you also take advantage of the, um, the anti-inflammatory properties that some foods have, such as blueberries. They're a good, sort, they're a good um, anti-inflammatory um, food to incorporate into your diet. So um, all that sounds great, right? This is such great information um, to help decrease our insulin resistance so that we can um, decrease the prevalence of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. That's all great. But then how do you even start, right? Because that's where people get hung up all the time. I see it you know, in my patients, they get hung up. I say this information to them, but it's just like, oh yeah, that sounds good. But there's a thought. It's too hard or I don't have enough time. There are these limiting thoughts that can become limiting beliefs that get in the way that can get you stuck in order to move forward so that you can take advantage of all these great effects that decreasing insulin resistance has on your body. So let's just start with one thought. It's too hard, right? Now, how can you make that easy? Or is there a new thought that you can assume for yourself so you can move forward to the next step. So if it's too hard, can you say, okay, how can I make this easy? What you thought would you like to then think so that you can move forward? It could be something as simple as, I will walk 30 minutes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
Because not only is it enough to create a new thought, you must then act on it, right? Because that's the purpose of developing a new thought. And, you know, we have all these subconscious thoughts that, that, you know, we have all these subconscious thought, but it's sometimes difficult to be aware of what is happening and what is actually keeping us stuck. We hear all these benefits of, you know, exercising and we hear all these benefits of eating right, but then how do you then move forward? It's by examining those thoughts that are in the way and realize that, you know, we have all these thoughts, right, that we have um, in our brain on a daily basis. But what happens is a thought can then become a belief and a belief are the thoughts that you assume to be true. So now you're thinking that it's really true that it's too hard for you to change your physical activity. And how detrimental is that? I, I previously explained all the benefits of decreasing insulin resistance with exercise and eating proper nutrition. How detrimental is not to have those benefits of decreasing insulin resistance? So I say all that to say is that, yes, we want to decrease the insulin resistance because there are so many benefits that our body can benefit from if we do so. But then how do we start? It starts by examining our thoughts. So if you're thinking about preventing a chronic disease or you're, you are in the position where you may be close to um, developing a chronic disease and your thought is, it's too hard. I want you to then ask yourself, well, how can I make this easy? and develop a new thought that you can then take action from so that you can move forward. Because it's too hard is not going to get us anywhere. We're gonna stay right there and we're not going to change our behavior. But the whole purpose of developing a new thought is so that we change our behaviors. And I'm not saying this is going to happen right away. It's not. Um, because we've been thinking these thoughts that, you know, may have become beliefs that we now actually believe to be true. So it requires a mental reworking of that so that we can move forward and that we can change and we can get all the benefits of decreasing insulin resistance because we know the benefits of exercising and eating proper nutrition, right? Like, you know, it's obvious, but then how do you move forward? So, um, and, and that is and that is the reason why I, you know, love talking about um, physical activity from a behavioral aspect and also from a mindset aspect, because we know that this would be great for us, but then how do we then move forward? So if you are a busy professional woman who, you know, you know the benefits of changing your behavior, such as incorporating more physical activity in your routine and eating um, proper nutrition, you know that there are benefits that you can have. And you know that, you know, you should do it. You know that this is something to do, but you just cannot move forward because you have all these thoughts that may now have become beliefs that you believe to be true. And that is now impacting your progress. That is now keeping you stuck. That is now keeping you a place where you don't even know where to start because you have been feeding to yourself all of these thoughts that have now become beliefs that you believe to be true and you cannot move forward to so making that behavioral change that will change your life entirely. So if that is you, if I'm talking to you, I would like you to um, go to the link in my description, schedule a 30 minute discovery call with me so we can talk about those thoughts that are in the way that are keeping you stuck. So we can thought about, think about, so we can, I can say, talk about, so we can talk about, you know, how are we able to do a mental reworking, you know, of your brain so that you can then move forward. All right, well, I would also like you to, um, not only would I choose to subscribe to the YouTube channel, you can do it right now, hit that red subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram at Med 
fit d o that is m e d f i t d o well i hope this information bless you today um be blessed bye bye